very good day to you. Welcome to Haman Manure's channel for this political conversation, political conversations that I do say I hope will be able to build this country even as we are progressing towards the 2022 presidential elections. These conversations are always very simple, truthful and unbiased. I'm joined by Haman Manure, sir. How are you doing today? I like the unbiased bit. The unbiased bit. Correct, yes. We are always unbiased. Some people say you... Uh, and you, we are doing well. The weather is a bit cool, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. So very, very much ready for the conversation. Oh, very much ready. President Uhuru Kenyatta, impeachment claims coming yeah. from a meeting he had with Gikuyu leaders. Reports have it that Deputy President William Bruto wanted to impeach him after 2017 elections. Let's start with the believability part. Do you believe these accusations could be true? Uh, I know this is just politics. Hmm. Even if they were, but there were talks like those. It was in the public. I don't know why people are trying to, to, to deny. Hmm. But they were saying they had the numbers, they could impeach the president if they wanted. Yeah. There was a time when people were saying they wanted to impeach Ruto. Mm. And the Ruto side said, it's us who can do it, we have the numbers. So it's, these things are always on the card. Mm. Yeah, but uh, whether really it was put in a very formal way, mm. that I doubt. So you think that there could be politics it's just into politics, it. Yeah. What do you think the president hopes to achieve if he says what he says to the Kikuyu leaders right now? What does he want to achieve with this conversation? For the deputy president, he's dividing the country. The president is, is behaving like a woodpecker. Ah. You know, a bird that can <laughs> drill a hole in, in a dry tree mm. using his beak. Mm. So he's tuck, tuck. Mm. He's nibbling away, nibbling away, nibbling away mm. at the mountain. Mm. Before you know what's happening, the president will have a sizable number of Gekoyo votes transfer to Raila Odinga. With this impeachment So claims. these are the things. This, this is just part of the game. This oh. is just one of the things. But for the deputy president, he says... Last, time, the, uh, last time he said something, I don't know what it was. Mm. This time is about impeachment. Next time will be something else. Mm. And another one. Every time you say something, you, you advance your narrative mm. that please, don't think I'm mad to have differed with my DP for nothing. Mm. This is a guy I travel with. This is a guy I suffered with. Mm. We went hunting with. We got the animal. Mm. There must be something why I've turned my back on him. There must be a reason why. So he's trying to build that narrative. Mm. Foolish people think he'll go nowhere. But, but those who know, Papo kwa Papo, Kamba hulikata jiwe. I know you don't know Swahili. Papo kwa Papo, Kamba hulikata jiwe. <laughs> what does that mean? It means... A rope can cut through, an, uh, through a stone, a rock. Yeah. So say, how? There and there. Mm. If there is a well somewhere mm. and people are, are drawing water, you know, you use a rope. Yeah. Not in a rope, yeah. with a bucket mm. into the well. Then you pull and you are pulling it against a rock. Yeah. On top there. Yeah. You check there will be a line inside. Oh. The rope has cut it. Yes. But, but so this, is what, but this is what Uhuru is doing. Is this a narrative that can sell in the Azimio side? Because we have a narrative already mm. with the UDA side. Yes. That hustlers, Watuna Mungu, this is what is happening with the hustler nation yes, right yes, now. Yes. But when you look at the Azimio side, it's tainting the DP's name. Yes, First yes. with theft, corruption, now yes. impeachment, his yes. ambition being uncontrollable. Is this a narrative that can build or is this simply propaganda? This is propaganda? how politics is play. Sometimes you build an object of hate, which is what Ruto has done with the dynasty. Sometimes you focus on a person and dismantle his image. This is what Raila is doing. Oh. This is what Raila should have done in 2017. In fact, they would not have stolen his election. They would not have managed. They would Raila should bl blame David Ndi for not becoming president in 2017. <laughs> because Ndi shifted Raila from where he was, mm. which was focused on Jubilee theft. Mm. And took him to Manifesto. The day they launched Manifesto, I knew they were done. So what Raila is doing now is focusing on Ruto. Mm. Questionable character. And finally, the image begins to emerge of a person you can't trust. Oh. So it works. And this is what the president is helping Raila Yes, with. and now the president is trying to explain to his people, mm. using all these maneuvers, mm. that don't think this is a good man. Because I know him, I'm next to him, I'm near him, and I know him. Some say you no think one. you can know him more than me? Some say no one is a good person in politics. All of, of them course. are. We know, but this is just politics. So will this one work? Will this one really work? I have told you, woodpecker. Kidogo, kidogo. Kidogo, kidogo. Papo kwa papo. Mm. Finally, the Mount Kenya will come. I have said it. I began saying it last year. Mm. 
At the time I said this, mm. people thought I was mad. But now everybody agrees. The, the, the best case scenario for Ruto, now, the best, any opinion call carried out even by angels, yeah. cannot put him beyond 75%. You know, the deputy president even said... The, even his own opinion polling oh. cannot give him beyond 75% of the mountain. And people are celebrating that yeah. he's still leading. So that's not leading. That's so you are going down. You need, you need 80 plus. And this is a fact. Mm. So the moment it gets to 70, 65, he's gone. And with this approach Uhuru has, believe it, believe me, this thing will... will the best for Ruto will be 60. When they go to the wire, he'll the, be at 60. The Labour president said, mm. Raila saw himself in as the people's president. Yes. He said he was involved in a coup yes. back in the 1980s. Yes, yes. Now, why would the president think that him wanting to impeach him or the propaganda that he's pushing is worse than Raila's? Two reasons. Let's begin with the obvious. Raila was not in government when those things were happening. It is the business of those in the opposition to want power, to take it from... When constitutional means are possible, they do so through constitutional means. When you lock all avenues of constitutional changes, mm -hmm. people look for other avenues. For Ruto, he is government. You cannot be somebody's de deputy and want to impeach them. Mm. No. That, that's not how it is done. Mm. But you can have such a strong reasons why you think your boss is not the man you thought and why he should be impeached. That's perfectly in order. Except... You get out of. You know there are things like, like uh, there's a, the word is a, the word is lost. There's trust. There's a word I'm looking for. A mm. phrase, eh? mm. something in confidence. Eh? Mm. There, 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 there's, there's something you get. Mm. The English is a difficult language sometimes. <laughs> yeah. There is uh, the, the trust you get because you are close to me. Oh. There's confidence I have in you. There are things I say, eh? mm. because. We are together. We work together. Mm. So there's much you know. I'm still looking for whatever it is. Yes. It's lost. Okay. There is th that which you know because we work together. Yeah. You cannot betray that trust and use it to hurt me. Mm. In fact, it is immoral. Mm. So what you do, you walk out. If Ruto had walked out of government mm. and assembled his trip, troops mm. to impeach Uhuru, mm. that's quite in order. Now, let's go back to the second reason, yeah. which is nobody says Raila wanted to overturn the government. Mm. The people who did the coup were found guilty, some were hanged. Mm. Those days, Kenya was still hanging people. Yeah. Today, they are just there, sentenced to death, yeah. sentenced to death, but you don't, nobody has been hanged for I don't know how yeah. many years, mm. but it's still in the books. During 1982, people were still being hanged. Oh. Somebody was hanged, I know one person mm. from my place. Mm. Eh? Treason? Yeah. Actually, the wife was like five months pregnant. She just miscarried. Oh. On the spot. This, are, this, are not, this is not fiction. Mm. They, they tried to, to find something on Raila. They couldn't. They couldn't process him in court because there was nothing. He was, there's nothing to link him to the coup. Mm. And that's why they chose to detain him. Okay. Now, when you come to the swearing in of, of, of um, and you shall do a full full show on this. Yeah, people's president. People's president. People must understand and thank Raila for that. Ah. People who are attacking Raila for swearing himself must actually thank Raila. Mm. Because the country was split into two. There was a session talk. There were boycotts of things. You remember that? Yeah. NRA, National Assistant, and Miguna and David Indi. NRA. The country yeah. was almost being torn into two and the country was on fire. Mm. People were pushing Raila to be sworn in. Right from the day Uhuru was sworn in, they wanted a parallel swearing in. You can imagine what could have happened in the country yeah. if Raila succumbed and agreed to be sworn in the day Uhuru was being sworn in. Yeah. There would have been bloodshed. Kenya would not be what we know it today. Mm. He kept postponing it. Around, around Jamuri Day, mm. he was pushed the day around the time Musalia Mdabadi was staying in, in Migori or somewhere. Yeah. Break him a katika. Gari haina reverse gear, na break ya gari me katika. To nenda paka swearing in. The tension in the country, had Raila taken the oath that time, this mm. country would not be what we see today. Mm -hmm. So, the statesman and the intelligent politician Raila is, 
He kept postponing, postponing, and monitoring the mood of the country and of his followers. I want to suspect strongly, and one day I will ask Raila. Mm. At that time, he must have begun talking to Uhuru Kenyatta. They must have begun talking. Yeah. But they were monitoring the temperatures. Mm. So now, for catharsis, for, 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 to, to bring the thing to closure, mm. like somebody has died, you must accept now he has died. Yeah. To bring the thing to closure, mm. when the mood was well managed, the temperatures are manageable. Mm. He took that Bible, but not as the President of the Republic of Kenya. The oath for president is, it is a prescribed oath. Mm. It is in the constitution. If Raila had taken that oath, the prescribed oath in the constitution, mm. that would have been treason. Mm. Shut away. So, so the, you must thank Raila for being a tactician mm. and a strategist. He knew what he was doing. But this is he now, was saving this country. I'm saying this. So small boys are uh, jumping here and there without knowing if Raila really wanted to cause trouble and he took this oath. Parallel all than 2007 when Kibaki was taken. He, he had been pushed to be sworn in. Hmm. He, he, he avoided it. Yeah. In, when Uhuru was being sworn, he was pushed to take a parallel oath. He didn't. And he kept postponing at that time. Hmm. Supposing he had done what the hardliners had wanted. Hmm. This country will not be the same today. Maybe we will be living in a different country. Okay, let's get, get back to Ruto's yeah. side. Now, people are asking, if you knew the deputy president wanted to impeach him, uh, we've had some claims of assassination which... Some don't believe, some say it's true. If you knew, why let him be by your side? Why still let him be your deputy president? You can go through parliament and impeach him. Two reasons. Three. One, two or three. One, Uru is just talking politics. Ah. There's no law there, just politics. Mm. Uh, we have explained that. Yes. Secondly, in the politics, you may know somebody's messing up mm. but you are happy you are safer with him close to you mm. so it will be safer to to have ruto close keep your friends closer but your enemies closer, closer. yes ah. that's that's, that's uh, and finally mm. I, I have said this and i'm on record mm. if who wanted to impeach ruto the numbers were there yeah. these guys make noise but i understand how kenyan politics works mm. i understand our members of parliament mm. I used to say this thing, people were joking. Mm. But BBI passed. Mm. Didn't it pass? Yeah. Both in Senate and uh, with the flying colors. County assemblies. County assembly. All of them except one. Yeah. With the flying colors. I understand Kenya. I understand the politicians of this country. Mm. It was quite possible for Uhuru to impeach Ruto. But the question is, would that be good politics? The answer is no. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't this then it would have hurt him more than what he would have gained. Doesn't this bring back the lame duck conversation? The president can't do anything. Uh, we've had him at all even said crack the whip. These people are disrespecting him. You look weak. Doesn't this bring back if he says I have this person and this doing about what lame duck? I've had people who don't know politics saying that lame duck is a period. No, mm. lame duck is the circumstances under which a president finds himself and his own gravitas and power, yeah. which disappears. And the people begin to focus on the incoming president. Mm. It's not about how many months you have to, to election. No. Trump was as powerful as ever until the last moment. There's no lame duck for Uru. Mm. Uru is a powerful man until the last day. Some Let me tell you what to answer your question. Yeah. Many people don't understand Uhuru. First, they underrate him. Mm. Uhuru is always with his eyes on the ball. When you have your eyes on the ball, you are not distracted by small things down here. Mm. You get it? Yeah. So when Uhuru doesn't crack the whip, people think he's weak. His eyes are on the ball. He's playing the long game. He's seeing where he's going. He cannot allow himself to be distracted by small little happenings here. Mm. Nothing demonstrates that more than what I told you last time. Mm. Four cabinet secretaries resigned. Has Uhuru filled those? No. Tell me anybody in this country, Raila, Root, anybody who would not have filled those. He would have used those to begin with the lawyers. Give lawyers one. Mm. Give campus one. Give Luos another one. Mm. Give, no, Luos because Raila is there. Yeah. He would go to the campus, give them one. Mm. Give Luos one or two. Give Kisses another yeah. one. The Swahili. <laughs> give give Cost another one. Give yeah. Costa one they don't have. Yeah. So has Uru done that? Mm. No, Uru is not a guy who gets excited. But what is the game though? He seems like they are at par with Eyes on the ball and the long, long game. He's seeing far. He has his game. He's long on strategy. Mm. Many people are long on, on tactics. Mm. He's, he has a war 
Uhuru is looking at the war. Mm. A war is bigger than a battle. Many people fight small battles and win and they celebrate. Mm. A good general looks at the war. When will it end? You can win one battle, win another one. Mm. He wins one. But at the end of it, the war is not even won. When your enemies have surrendered. No. What do you get out of the war? Mm. How is Germany 1500 years from the end of the war? Mm. That is what a general does. And Uhuru has his eyes on the war and beyond. Many people just look here. In Africa, even with the constitution, which president will allow Uhuru to do what he's doing? He will even dismantle you from, from, from Karen. Mm. Uhuru doesn't need a big excuse to remove Ruto from Karen. Mm. Just under renovation. <laughs> Public works, not even the president. Yeah. Close for innovation. And you are told, pack your things. <laughs> I, my friend, he has all the power. He's the si huko. <laughs> Watch at the constitution. Hakuna <laughs> katiba. Yeah. Kama ni watu wengine wangekua president sahi. Yeah. Ruto hangekua Karen. My way is holding delegations. Oh. He will not be removed. The house is under innovation. Public works. So it's the, the long game for you. The long game. Who doesn't look at these short things people look for? That every president said. No. Because of your project. Yes. Because your project has been rejected by the people of Kenya, you are desperate and spreading falsehoods. You also said that you've made State House a theater of propaganda. What is the worst case scenario for the deputy president if he continues with this trajectory? The trajectory of calling the president names, continuing to do the things he's doing. What Uhuru has done is to give Ruto a long rope and he's hanging himself with a rope. Every passing day is getting more agitated, more angry, more annoyed. Mm. Uh, uh, directly attacking Ruto, mm. Uhuru. And every time you attack Uhuru, if you are Ruto, you lose some votes. Mm. This is Kenya. If you don't know this is Kenya, the things I've said mm. are all coming to pass. I told you, and I told Ruto, mm. there is no way UDA and the Ruto alone can go to the ballot. Because this is Kenya. He has come to realize. Now he's going to realize too late. Mm. That every politician, like every dog, has their honor. Mm. You touch a chokora, and they have been shot by people and killed, or things have happened like that, mm. and then the honors come. Then you know those chokora are going to win. Then you know ile umbo mechapa are going to You touch Uhuru Kenyatta, and you'll know he has his honor. So the worst case is losing touch Ruto, na utajua kumba are going to That's why Uhuru is hesitant to touch Ruto, because he knows Ruto are going to win. Touch him, Let him do the mess. Let him mess on his own the way he's messing. Yeah. But let Uhuru or Raila touch him. What are you all you So as Ruto continues to touch, to hit at Uhuru, mm. he will discover when it is too late that Uhuru comes from people and the, he has it on us. I saw even when the someone from his side mm. abused Mama Angina. Yes, yes. There you were protests saw? everywhere. You saw women coming out. You saw. It may not have the impact you would wish, mm. but I told you the woodpecker. Tuck, tuck, ah. You'll find a hole inside. Losing one vote at a time, you say? One vote at a time. By the time you get to June, when I said by February, UDA will be a, 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 a calling party. People, people took it just literally. Ah. But if you look properly at what is happening now, ah. you can begin. It's being squeezed. It's being squeezed. You wait after... after the windows are closed. Mm. Then we get to nomination. Then you'll come and see, Manuel, how did you see this thing? After nominations, many will... You'll see what will happen. No, I told you defections have not happened. They are yet to happen. Serious defections are yet to happen. Mm. That's the time UDA will, will see with its teeth, not eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to today's political conversation. We talked about defections uh, on Monday. Please go ahead and watch that video until we do have these conversations again. Please go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't come automatically, as I usually say. You have to click the red button. If you're watching us on telly or using your phone, go to the subscribe button and click it. We need to get to 100,000. But until we do have these conversations and talk again, have yourself a lovely rest of your day. Thank you.